Hey there everyone, um, I honestly don't know why the quality is so crappy in this video. Um, I'm going to try to fix it as best I can. I really don't know what its problem is. Anyway, um, new news, which is going to be real quick and real fast before I start talking about the ANTM Cycle 16 finale. I got a new camera! Yay! Um, I finally talked everybody into donating money to the Ashley Bailey Needs a Camera Fund! Um, anyway, so, uh, that's, that's about all there is in new Ashley news. Oh, and I have an interview at 3, so it's almost 1 o'clock right now, and I gotta fix my hair some more. So, I did my makeup. I don't know if you can see. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna talk about the ANTM Cycle 16 finale. Um, first of all, not happy with it. Um, second of all, ANTM has done this to me. If you don't know what ANTM is, America's Next Top Model. Um, they've done this to me like the last seven finales. Not the last seven finales. That's an exaggeration. Um, they every time I fall in love, I, like there's a character, there's you know one model that I fall in love with. Um, last cycle it was Kayla. I was madly in love with Kayla. She's a lesbian, so that makes it even funnier. Anyway, Natalie in love with her, crazy about her, was like, okay, you know, Kayla's gonna win, she got that hair, she got that look, Kayla's gonna win. End of statement. We get down to the episode before the finale, which, first of all, I think it's stupid when they only have two people in the finale, but, uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> anyway, and then they eliminated her and then I watched the finale and I was just starting to like Chelsea and then Anne wins. Um, the second before that I was all Alexandria, Alexandria. Um, and then they eliminated her and the final two were two people that I really didn't like. Tirana, Tatiana, Tiandra, to something. And um, and then I, uh, the other one was Reyna, and I was like, oh, I don't like either one, I'm not watching the finale. I watched the finale, fall in love with Reyna, Reyna loses. Anyway, they do this to me all the time. Um, the cycle before that, I think, was the petite cycle, and I was all like, oh, Laura, 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 and they let Nicole win. Um, before that, there was the, uh, the one scandal, what the heck was it, with, um, Talisha. And they were like, oh, so she's just going to win. And I was like, no, Chantal, Chantal, Chantal. And then Salisha so wins. So they do this to me quite frequently. Um, I haven't been happy with the winner of America's Next Top Model in, well, um, since like Whitney, I think. I don't, I think Whitney was cycle 10, cycle 11. I don't know. And I liked Carrie D. Those are about the most recent winners I enjoyed. How sad is that? Um, oh, well, I like the one with the southern accent. Kind of the gap tooth. But anyway, alright, back to the finale. So the finale is Brittany and <laughs> Brittany and Molly, alright? And first of all, I haven't liked either one of them for a while. I liked Brittany the first couple episodes because I was like, oh, dude, she's from Pennsylvania. Me too. And I was like, oh, dude, she lives in a trailer. Oh, cool, me too. And then, and I really wasn't a big Alexandria fan. And then when the two of them had their blow up, all Brittany could do was be little Alexandria. If you watch the episode, all she talks about is how rude she is, how ugly she is, how, you know, she goes on and on. And if you listen to Alexandria, the only complaint she had was that Brittany was being mean to her, basically, and putting her down, which was the truth. So... So anyway, so then you get, so that episode I was like, ugh, I hate Brittany. And then I was like, oh, Molly, boring, uh, Molly, uh. And then the episode in which I really started hating Molly was when I realized she complains all the freaking time. Every five minutes, it's Molly complaining. Molly, <laughs> Molly, <laughs> I don't want to be in the trash, I don't want to be. And then... Okay, so then I'm like, all right, Molly. Well, then I realized Molly's adopted. And then Molly talks about how she used to do drugs and how she's, you know, being a nicer person now and wants to, you know. And I'm like, okay, all right, we'll cut Molly a little slack here. Anyway, so then we get to the finale, the final three, and it's Hannah, Molly, and Brittany. And I'm like, Hannah, 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 Hannah. 
and they eliminate Hannah. Thanks a lot, ANTM. You did it to me again. You make me not want to watch the finale. So anyway, so I watched the finale. <laughs> I'm texting with my friend Taylor. Okay, I call her my little sister. Anyway, I'm texting with Taylor, all right? And Taylor's like, I want Molly to win. And I was like, Psh, I don't want Molly to win. So her and I are like, Molly, 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 Molly. So then the episode goes on and Brittany's mom can't be there, which, first of all, I think it's rude that if one set of parents can't be there, they shouldn't have let the other set of parents be there. But, um, get your butt down. Get your butt down. Sit. Sit. Okay. Anyway, I don't think they should have let Molly's parents be there if Brittany's parents couldn't be there. I think that was a little rude. Put your butt down. Um, but, you know, whatever. It's ANTM. We let them get away with crap they probably shouldn't be able to get away with. Ah! So then, then we're watching this final runway, okay? And I'm all like, oh my god, Molly looks like a model. Molly, 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 Molly. And I'm like, Molly's really turning it around. I'm like, Molly. Then they decide. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold Shush. Hey. Holly does his bark. Anyway, I apologize. Call him. Shh. Okay. So then, they're doing this final runway, and Brittany spills on a, um, on some petals, which I already knew this was happening, gonna happen, because I had seen, um, The View earlier that day when Tyra guest, guest hosted, and so I already knew this was gonna happen, because she kind of already gave that away, and I was like, alright, well, whatever. So I'm like, oh, maybe it knocks some sense into Brittany. Maybe she's not gonna be so, you know, mentally challenged now. Anyway, so then... They're like, oh, we're going to do your hair. And I'm like, dude, Brittany's hair is like this long already. What are you going to do to it? So, for, first of all, I think the haircut that they gave Brittany was adorable. And the haircut they gave Molly looked like pond scum. Um, it literally looked like a bowl haircut. Like they put a bowl on her head and just cut around. Um, it looked really stupid. I'm sorry, but it did. Anyway, but I'm still like, the dude, you know, it's just hair. Then get Molly a wig. All right. Molly, <laughs> you're gonna win. Molly, 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 Molly. Yeah, so then F and Brittany wins. Sorry if I gave the ending away for anyone. But it was like totally whatever. You know, sometimes you just gotta go with it. Just smile and nod. But anyway, I'm still not happy with ANTM. They do this to me every time. They made me fall in love with somebody and then they pick the other one. I'll never understand why, but whatever. So I'm really hoping that Cycle 17 is better. Um, they've officially released the um, the reunion cast, and I'm super excited about it because like all of my favorites are going to be in it. Um, I think I talked about this before. I'm going to talk about it a little bit now. Um, Allison Harvard, we all know I'm madly in love with her. I think she's like the most gorgeous woman ever. Um, oh yeah, and she should have won her cycle instead of whoever that was with her. Maybe that was Tiandra. I don't know. Anyway, so there's Allison. Then there's Kayla, who my red-haired buddy. I love Kayla. I don't know what it was that southern accent. She's not southern, I don't think. Anyway, love Kayla. Love Laura, another runner-up who should have won. Um, but I don't know how well she's going to stack up against um, non-petite models. Um, it's, you know, so Alice and Kayla are my top two right now. Um, also, the Britney that's going to be in it is that wild and crazy fun party Britney. Um, I'm kind of hoping she's toned down a little bit, but I'm kind of also hoping she hasn't lost her sense of humor because I really liked her. Um, Lisa. I've seen Lisa with long hair. I kind of like her better with long hair. Um... <laughs> And she has a singing career, which I listen to. It's not really singing, but, um, okay. You can listen to Lisa's song Sex Tape, which was quite interesting, I guess. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm okay with Lisa as long as she, you know, is mature now. It doesn't act like a big old turd. Um, and then I've got, who else have we got? Uh, Sheena. I'm okay with Sheena. Sheena's, you know, big, voluptuous, sexy. I'm okay with Sheena. Um, I don't think they picked any plus size models for this cycle. Um, and, you know, that kind of aggravates me because I always love the plus size model. Um, I'm always a fan. 
Uh, uh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to think of who else there is. There's a lot of people that I'm not a big fan of. Mm. Uh, I can't find the official list. All star cast. Anyway, um, there's a lot of a, um, girls that I don't think deserve to be there. Oh, Shannon is another one that I'm okay with. She was from Cycle 1, so she's, like, probably the oldest one there. Um, I'm okay with her. Uh, I'm also okay with her not doing nudity. Um, I'm kind of thinking she's going to do nudity now, though, because of the cycle and because of the fact that she's famous for not doing nudity. Um... Mm. I'm trying to bring up the official list. Okay. We got... Oh, Alexandria from Cycle 16. Um, I'm a big Alexandria fan, like I said. Um, I wasn't a fan until she had that um, famous mishap. Um, Camille from Cycle 2 is going to be on there. Um, I don't like her at all. Um, I think she was the one that was... This is my walk, and this is the walk that's going to make me famous. I think that was her. Um, Brie from Cycle 5. Um, I'm not a big fan of her either. I think she was the one that was all, Oh my god, like... And then just complained about everything. Um, Bianca from Cycle 9. I think... It's the Bianca, I think it is. She was okay, but she was a little dramatic. Dominique from Cycle 10. Again, I think that's another one that I really just didn't like. I could, she kind of made me want to, like, bonk myself in the head. Um, also, I'm going to Google her real fast and see if she's who I think she is. Um, yeah, she was the one. She was okay, but she kind of made me want to bonk myself. Um, Isis from Cycle 11 was the transgender one. Um, she was okay. I think she got eliminated a little early in her cycle, in my opinion. Um, she's okay, though. I mean, she was really sweet and nice. Um, Angelia? Angelica? Angeli from Cycle 14. Um, yeah, she was really dramatic, if I remember right. But if I remember right also, after I saw her on the Tyra show, I was okay with this. Um, she was really sweet and nice. So, those are the girls, um, uh, let's see, okay, Shannon, Camille, Brie, Brie, Lisa, Bianca, Dominique, Isis, Sheena, Allison, Laura, Angelia, Kayla, and Alexandria. Um, I think those are, yeah. Anyway, so I picked up my favorite. Um, I think there's a lot of runners up who are going to be really disappointed when they don't get runner up or winner. Um, obviously, not all of the runners up can make runner up this cycle. So, um, uh, who do I think is going to be eliminated first? Personally, I think it's going to be, um, I'm really hoping it's someone I like. Um, We'll see what happens. Um, but, you know, people change. People learn from their mistakes. I mean, all of them, except for Alexandria, I think, have had time to see themselves on TV and, you know, watch their cycle, and they know what they did wrong and what they did right, and, you know, what the judges kind of said when no one was in their room. So, I think that's really going to help them. Um, other than that, yeah. All right. Um, this is a really long post, and I'm hoping it's going to be this. So, toodles, children!